Ice fishing season in Kettle Land doesn't come without some risks. Earlier this week, we showed you this picture of an SUV that plunged through the ice at Wabe Lake. Fortunately, everyone was able to get out safely. It turns out our wet year across Kettle Land could be making the ice more dangerous on lakes. Kettle Land's Perry Groton has some important safety reminders before you step out onto the ice this winter. First fish of the year right there. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it didn't take long for the first catch through the ice at the outdoor campus in Sioux Falls. We're out here for 10 minutes and pull a little bluegill up through the water. Just the first fish of the year out here. Anglers are fishing on a safe eight inches of ice blanketing the pond, but thickness varies across the state. In the southeast here, we've got about uh, probably four to six inches of ice on most of our lakes. And then as you go north up towards, say, Arlington, that Lake Thompson area, they probably have eight inches, and then if you go to the northeast, you know, they're, they're driving some vehicles on the ice up there. Even experienced outdoorsmen like fisheries biologist Dave Lucchese can misjudge the depth of the ice. I've fallen through uh, three times in my life, and uh, I've gotten out every time, of course, but it, it, it's very, it's scary, and, uh, and I would recommend people be careful. You need to know how thick or thin the ice is before venturing onto the lake. That can involve drilling down with an auger to gauge the depth or simply following the tracks of others who've been on the lake. Lucchese says the ice might be thinner on South Dakota lakes this year. That's because the wet fall created a stronger river current contributing to thin spots along the lakes. You know, even though the ice may be thick around most of the lake, those areas may have that current, uh, thin ice, and, uh, and we could see a fair number of vehicles going through, so I would be very cautious this year. Lucchese says the sun's low enough in the sky at this time of year to prevent a rapid melt during this warm spell. Still, it's important to be aware on the ice and watch your step. Yeah, warm weather, I'd definitely be a little more cautious about walking out, checking spots before seeing how deep the ice is before you go. In Sioux Falls, Perry Groton, Kettle Land News. The outdoor campus will host an ice fishing class next Thursday. To find out how thick the ice needs to be to support a person, a snowmobile, or a pickup, we have a link to the Game Fishing Parks Department's website under this story at kettleland.com.